tonight's music evening with a display of traditional Indian music. Oh, Nutella! Indian music is for gays! Gays and gimps, Nutella. Gays and gimps. So what will you be doing? <laughs> be called a grade one. How about you, Latrina? <laughs> She'll be playing the pink trombone as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Why is you mock my craft? <laughs> No musical instruments in the corridor, Keisha. But, sir, don't you want to see me play on the pink trombone? Yes, hilarious. I fell for that one last year. Man, just imagine if there weren't no teachers. That would be so sweet. But who would educate us? Who would what? Don't cuss the teachers, Keisha. They love their work and they're dedicated to us. They'll all be in the staff room now, marking away. I hate school. I hate school. It's bloody shit. Oh, please, God. Please save me. Morning, everyone. Mm. Oh, hi, Dave. Oh, hi. hi. Hello, Dave. Hi. Another great day, eh, Martin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wanker. What have you got there, Dave? A guitar? What, this old thing? It's for the music evening tonight. <laughs> you can strum me any time. <laughs> if music be the food of love, I'll give you a hand job behind the science block. <gasps> you can pluck my G-string. Yeah, that'd work if you didn't wear such massive pants. <sighs> Just play us something. Yes. Why don't you stumble through streets of London for us, or maybe some oasis? Oh. Thank you, Nutella. <laughs> and if you could let everybody outside know, it's safe to come back in now. Oh, well, what did you think? Give me your honest opinion. You are shit. Shitter than shit. You were so shit it made me want to block up my ears with shit and eat some shit and then do a shit. Right, Latrina? Shit. Well. Obviously, I can't expect you to appreciate all the subtleties of Indian classical music. For my talents to be truly appreciated, I require a more sophisticated audience. I agree. If sophisticated means deaf. Well, let's try and get the evening back on track. Please welcome Brianna Clark from C2. Oh! <laughs> so oh, oh you motherfuckers, this is how we're kicking it! She yours? No, no, it's not mine. I think she's on Sony. Yes, man. She on Sony? Yeah, yeah. I signed her last week. <laughs> oh, what a surprise! A human beatbox at a school music evening. How original! <laughs> now that is interesting. Very street. Now I'm going to West Virginia in my mind. Hey, yeah. mm, that was, uh, OK. No more than that. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to try and sign him immediately afterwards. Oh, no. No, no, no way. absolutely not. No. I'm on the guest list. Your pass is show only. This is after show. It's just for the artists and a bunch of hangers on and a load of other people. What's this? Christmas? In you go. You let him in? Now listen, boy, you haven't got the right look. Sorry, standards, savvy? Oh, baby. In you go. Ah. I fixed the boilers. In you go. Oh, this is. Oh, why are they allowed in and we're not? You can go in, just not Mongo. Hey? How'd you know I'm called? Oh, wicked. Don't wait up, Martin! <laughs> oh. In you go. <laughs> the sitar uses an entirely different musical scale, you see. So it takes a trained ear to really appreciate good playing. <laughs> well, I'm sure I don't need to tell you. Thanks a lot. You've made me look like a right cock. <laughs> 
You don't seem to understand. I'm not interested. I could make you a superstar. I already am a superstar. To the kids I teach. I could have you performing on the world's greatest stages. I already perform on the greatest stage in the world. The classroom, to the greatest audience. Kids who want to learn. I can promise you hours of sex with top models with cocaine up their fannies. I already... Cocaine up their fannies? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Hello, Dave. You don't normally come to school in a gold helicopter. Or do you? Ah, oh, no, I didn't come to school in a gold helicopter. I'm leaving school in a gold helicopter. Right. What is it? Conference? No, Gavin, it's not a conference. I'm a pop star now. <sighs> Morning, Martin. I'm not jealous. Of what? Nothing. Fuck. What do you mean, fuck? I love teaching. I don't want to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you'll excuse me, here comes the bigger helicopter that my helicopter travels on so its blades don't get dusty. I'm going to an island. Bye! Is Mr Anderson leaving? Are you two leaving? So you're both still teachers? You'll both be teachers forever, I reckon. Mm. Oh! You accidentally hit me! <laughs> Ow! Ah, OK, I turn 54. That English teacher is now big pop star. Unlike you losers, he's got a big pair, as I bet. Ooh, imagine it. Mm. <laughs> I turn 55. Who wants to see what is in this bag before I bury it? Oh. Huh. What is wrong with morale in this place? Get back to your marking. <laughs> Tallulah's legs turned to jelly. His maleness overwhelmed her. Martin, she whimpered. Dear Archbishop, my robot Jesus is just like the real Jesus, except he's a robot. Hmm. <laughs> Right, now listen carefully, because this is the most important thing anyone will ever teach you. OK, everyone, shut up. I has got an announcement. Hey, Master, please, I was just about to... <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> this lady here is a secret agent called Pussy Aplenty. She's from the LEA. It's a government organisation which is not officially exist. Actually, Headmaster, my name's Leonora, and I'm from the local education authority. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm here because we need one act from Bromwell High to enter the National School's Music Competition. Oh, and you think it should be me because my sitar playing was so good? No. Because my sitar playing needs improvement? No. <laughs> because you think my sitar playing will only be really appreciated on a national stage? We think it should be Keisha. What? But you... <laughs> yes, it's congratulations to that child. We're so happy for you, apart from her, who is as sick as a dog. <gasps> now, I must go and give Pussy some of my spicy salami. Headmaster, my name's Leonora. Hello. Please let me do the competition with you. I'll be your best friend. No. I'll be your best best friend. No. I'll be your best, best, best friend! Hmm... No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've sold my book! Oh! You, you'll never need to know anything I've ever taught you! And you're all idiots! Especially Keisha! <laughs> he picked me. Respect for other religions is the cornerstone of a civilised society. OK. Let's go over it one more time. If I does the competition with you, I used to be famous and live in a Hollywood mansion. Yes. And have my own horses. Yes. With... Hooves of gold. And... You'll have a mobile encrusted with diamonds. And... Ten free texts per month on pay as you go. Hmm. OK. Obviously, you'll be my slave forever. That's a given. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs>
I think we have a deal. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I've sold my robot. All other religions are lunatics. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm afraid that, most regretfully, I must uh, tender my resignation. We accept you're a dreadful teacher and an appalling man. Yes. It seems I'm destined for a career as a successful novelist. What? Splashing about in a canoe all day? No, I think that's... I hope your fucking boat sink. And the Archbishop is planning to buy a whole consignment, so it's going to be a full-time job. Mm. Mm. It's so important that I, that I really take some time to finish my novel, I'm Mr John Grisham. Mm. And then I'm going to completely empty the septic tank and then, fingers crossed, win the Turner Prize. Oh, Headmaster, I am going to cut to the quick. I want to pursue my dream of becoming a PE teacher. What would you say if I was offer you a job as a PE teacher right now? You... you don't mean... You would have to take a substantial pay cut, of course. Oh, anything. Welcome on board. Yes! <laughs> it's just you, me, and idiot. What is we do? Hmm. Mm. So, kidnapping pays off. I resign. Mm. Now, listen to Iqbal. I ain't got no tissues anymore, because they're all too fancy now. One or two of them is queer, Iqbal think, Mr. Beal for sure. But anyways, if we don't tell no one about the teachers, I is keep getting paid and you is won't have no work to do. We keep this quiet and we get away with it. Anyone who is snitching is get their throat cut like a eel. <coughs> Any question? Gavin Drummond, Daily Telegraph. Can I take it that this is the first press conference you've ever given? Hmm. And as the staff shortage worsens, there is talk of introducing a four-day week. <laughs> Keely Rogers, Channel 4 News. Mm -mm. Hello. This is Quentin Leaves from the Ministry of Education. There is a Ministry of Education? <laughs> What's next? Ministry of Kebab? The Minister has become concerned about all the media coverage of your teacher shortage. <laughs> They're not teacher shortage. Well, the Minister would like to come and see for himself. Shit. Hold on. <laughs> is the Minister that blind gizzer? No, 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 he's not blind. What? The guy with the dog and the stick who has fallen down the big hole last week that everybody else could see. Oh! Whatever you do, don't say he's blind. He pretends he isn't. I heard that, Quentin. You're fired. OK. We'll be there tomorrow. I miss Quentin. Is you finish my own work, slave? Really? I don't understand why it takes you so long. Maths is as easy as one, two, seven. Latrina, this deal only applies to me. You don't have to be a doormat. I know. I like it. Ooh. You uh, wanted to see me? Keisha has something she'd like to say to you. Keisha? Your breath smells like dog poo. The other thing? Oh. We would like to enter the competition as a double act. Well, it's not strictly allowed, but uh, I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. We're all grown-ups here, apart from you three. Ah, thanks for coming, pussy. Look, I is up shit creek, and I don't mean bumming. What can we do? OK, option A. I can provide you with a group of highly motivated, experienced supply teachers, or option B, I can source a team of foreign teachers, say Spanish or South African. And option B is cheaper than option A. Oh, significantly. And so option C is significantly cheaper than option B. There is no option C. <laughs> if you don't think there is no option C, you don't know Iqbal. Hmm. Please, yes, very good, very good. Stop! Fourteen teachers. Sign here. Yeah, I hope none of them is damaged. <laughs> <laughs> and settle. OK. Williams, head of geography. Johnson, head of math. Phillips, head of PE. Patak, head of year two. <laughs> yeah, this sounds so different. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that's coming along very nicely. 
thank you, miss. I think the blend of cultures and styles creates a sort of musical dialectic. Hmm. Can I make one suggestion? Of course. That's better. I think the best interests of the LEA would be served if Keisha does the competition on her own. But... but you can't do that. We had an agreement. Which I am going back on. Shocking, isn't it? Off you go. Hmm. You know, now we've got rid of that awful noise, I think you've got a real chance of winning. And I got you this darling <gasps> costume to wear. Oh, should we take it from the top? Mm. Mm. I ain't doing it. What? Why? Nutella's my friend, and if she ain't doing it, then nor am I. I see. And any girl who wears that is gay. Oh, Keisha. Mm. Come on, Nutella. You has got my own work to do. Of course, we do still need someone to represent the borough. If Keisha won't do it, then maybe Nutella should. <laughs> I think you know the answer to that. Right, Nutella? <gasps> yes, 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 yes! <laughs> I smell monkeys, even though I don't have an overdeveloped sense of smell. What do you smell, my friend, is Cypriot aftershave. I splash it all over, upstairs and downstairs. If you don't have any monkeys, then who was grabbing my testicles and slabbering in my ear in the corridor? Hmm. Oh, um, hmm. OK, so Iqbal's got some monkeys. What is the issue? The unions don't like it when you replace teachers with monkeys, especially when they get an improved Ofsted report. Wow! Less than satisfactory! Who is coming up in the world? I'm sorry, children, but the monkeys has caught a very bad disease and they have to stop teaching you. You can't kill them. Oh, don't worry. This is just a tranquilizer dart. It will just send them to sleep. <laughs> and now I will take them to the zoo. So, since there are no teachers here, we'll be transferring all of Bromwell High's pupils to Bromwell Park Secondary, which, as you'll know, has many state-of-the-art facilities, such as a computer. I'm looking forward to it. I relish a new challenge. I'm sorry, Keisha, but you won't be going to Bromwell Park. It's been decided that you should go to a special school. Yes! A school for the exceptionally challenged. Do you understand what that means? What do you reckon? Which bit don't you understand? Exceptionally. That means very. And challenged. Well, that means stupid. So I could have said, we're sending you to a school for the very stupid. Yes! And you will never see any of your friends ever again. Oh. Of course, if you were to enter the music competition, then we would have to keep you in mainstream education. And the teller? She would have her pathetic, misguided dreams shattered into a thousand pieces. So, it really is a win-win situation. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, the smell of freshly dug F. It's been a long time since we buried so many teachers, isn't it? So, all the monkey teachers were killed by a terrible plague? Yeah, yeah, plague. That's right. And the worst bit is now, we ain't got no teachers, they's closed the school, and I's lose my cushy job. <laughs> if only there was somewhere we could get all our old teachers back. Mm. Her love was like a jew-led goblet. <laughs> <laughs> and he drank at her well until sated. <laughs> but each sip served only to heighten his thirst, a bit like they say about seawater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I'm serious. Stop bloody laughing and start fucking listening. And her liquidness streamed over him like the sea. And then she threw him a life belt in the form of her desire. And then... What? What? Come along with us, please, sir. Don't make a fuss. Mm. Oh, no! I'll... I'll pause before swine. Your robot Jesus has been nothing but trouble. We want him to be more like the real Jesus. But he's exactly like the real Jesus. Well, then explain this. It's OK to be gay. <laughs> I hardly think the real Jesus would approve of that. 
The church shouldn't invest in arms companies. We want the sort of Jesus who lets us drive four-wheel drive jeeps and employ immigrants to clean our pool. You must not make a slave of your brother. Oh, really? This is intolerable. <laughs> Stop hitting what? Jesus. Hitting is naughty. <laughs> Illegal. Kidnapping. Are you sure? This is political correctness gone mad. A very big thank you to everyone who's taken part and made this evening such a marvellous success. Now, to present the first prize, the Minister for Education. I brought a visitor. Hi. Hello. Are you settling in? Fine. This is nice. Yes, it is nice. I miss you, Keisha. I miss you too. Why did you do it, Keisha? Why did you sacrifice yourself for me when I was so horrible? Because you is my friend. And though you did a bad thing, you is not a bad person. I'm sorry I let my overarching ambition get in the way of our friendship. I promise I'll never do it again. That's okay. I'm sorry too. What for? For putting bird seed in your air. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all back here, are we? Except Dave Anderson. Oh, oh look. Hunky Dave is enjoying an away from it all break on his yacht filled with young gymnasts and vodka. Good on him. You're right. I can't pretend I don't wish it was me, but it's nice to see someone... Achieving their dreams! Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, after all, thou shalt not cover... Thy neighbour's ox! Can you stop interrupting me? Why? Because it's really irritating. You've never mentioned it before? Jesus. Yes? Dave Anderson just suffered a massive drug overdose and died! <laughs> 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 